इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्लास बी पावर एम्पलीफायर और पुष्पुल पावर एम्पलीफायर क्वेश्चन विल कम लाइक दिस व्हाट इज ए पुष्पुल एम्पलीफायर और व्हाट इज ए क्लास बी एम्पलीफायर विथ ए नीट सर्किट डायग्राम डिस्कस द वर्किंग ऑफ द एम्पलीफायर व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पुष्पुल एम्पलीफायर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज ए पुष्पुल एम्पलीफायर और व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड ए पुष्पुल एम्पलीफायर इन क्लास बी एम्पलीफायर टू ट्रांजिस्टर्स आर यूज्ड इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन सी दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम फॉर ए क्लास बी एम्पलीफायर इन दिस क्लास बी एम्पलीफायर टू ट्रांजिस्टर दिस इज वन ट्रांजिस्टर एंड दिस इज अनदर ट्रांजिस्टर्स so two transistors are used and during any given half cycle of the input signal one transistor is pushed pushed into conduction but the other transistor does not conduct if this one will conduct then this will not conduct that is why it is called push pull uh, amplifier then what is the circuit diagram of push pull amplifier or क्लास बी एम्पलीफायर दिस इज द बेसिक और स्टैंडर्ड सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ क्लास बी एम्पलीफायर और पुष्पुल एम्पलीफायर हियर यू हैव टू एन पी एन ट्रांजिस्टर दिस इज वन एन पी एन ट्रांजिस्टर दैट इज कॉल्ड आई हैव रिटर्न यूर टी वन एंड अनदर एन पी एन ट्रांजिस्टर दैट इज योर टी टू एंड द एमिटर टर्मिनल्स आर कनेक्टेड टूगेदर this emitter terminal of this transistor and the emitter terminal of this transistor they are connected together and the center tapped input transformer splits the input signal into two equal half you see this is your center tap input tra tra transformer and this transformer um, splits the input signal into two equal half this is one half and this is another half and another center tap transformer here on the output is used to recombine the two signals providing the increased power to the load so this uh, this transistor sorry this um, center tap transformer splits the signal and this uh, center tap transformer again rejoin the signal and ac signal is given in the input this is your input where you give the ac signal and in the output this is basically the load or speaker where you collect the output and this is the biasing battery dc battery that is the uh, battery given to the output of the uh, transistor then how the transistor works or working of the pushpull amplifier or um, your class b amplifier the biasing of the transistor in class b operation is in such a way that at zero signal condition there will be no collector current as i have discussed in the previous video in case of class b operation or class b amplifier there is no uh, collector current so you have to bias the transistor in such a way that when there is no signal given to the input then no current pass in the in the output of the collector current no collector current will flow in the output at the operating point is selected to be at collector cut off voltage so when the signal is applied only the positive cycle is amplified at the output then what is the efficiency we know efficiency is the output power the ratio of the output power to the input power and output power you calculate by the formula v square by r you measure the output voltage v by means of a voltmeter and you measure the load resistance by ohm meter Uh, then you if you divide v square by r you can calculate the output power similarly you can calculate the input power by from the formula 
लेट अस से वी डैश आई और वी प्राइम आई वी प्राइम इज द इनपुट वोल्टेज एंड आई इज द इनपुट करेंट सो इफ यू मेजर द इनपुट वोल्टेज एंड इनपुट करेंट एंड यू मल्टीप्लाई देम देन यू कैन कैलकुलेट द इनपुट पावर एंड इफ यू डिवाइड द आउटपुट पावर विद द इनपुट पावर यू कैन गेट द एफिशिएंसी एंड इफ यू थ्योरेटिकली कैलकुलेट द एफिशिएंसी देन इट इज थ्योरेटिकल वैल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू 78.5% so what is the advantage of class b amplifier in class b amplifier no current flows through the transistor when they are in the quotient state in the because the q point lie in the x axis so uh, you see you have seen in the previous video i have discussed why the collector current ic will be equal to zero so in the absence of the signal if there is no signal given to the class b uh, amplifier then no current flows through the transistor so no power is dissipated in the output transistor uh, output of the transistor or transformer output of the transformer this is the main advantage of class b operation or class b amplifier but uh, what is the disadvantage in Uh, class b amplifier or pospol amplifier the main problem with class b amplifier is that each transistor conducts for not exactly half a cycle so distortion occurs on each cycle of the signal wave form so as we have discussed there are two transistors um, in class b amplifier and in these two transistor you have two halves of the signal and each transistor conducts not exactly half of the signal that is why distortion occurs on each cycle of the signal then this is the main disadvantage in pospol amplifier what are the uses in uh, uh, class b amplifier or pospol amplifier class b amplifiers are used in battery operated devices such as transistor radio it is also used in high power applications in uh, such as audio power amplifier in public address systems so this is a basic idea about class b power amplifier or pospol amplifier thank you